been so concerned about uh, the loss of jobs here, uh, the inability to uh, raise this standard of living in this area, that we are the third or fourth in the country below the poverty line. Uh, this, this is a way we can cure this and, and do a good job of it. I think now in the future we'll look back on it and know this was a turning point for us. A renaissance for the Rochester area's economy. That is the promise leaders are making with this new Photonics Institute that will be announced just a few hours from now by Vice President Joe Biden. What else we've learned about the investment in technology and its potential impact right here. This is Good Day Rochester on Fox Rochester. It is Monday, July 27th. I'm Doug Ambleach. And I'm Hannah Welker in for Norma Holland. She's off this morning. Jim Madalinski is standing by live at Canal Ponds Park in Greece. With more on this morning's top story, Jennifer Johnson also standing by working on this morning's hot topics. First, though, meteorologist Marty Snyder is here. He's got a check of the forecast, and if you like it hot, and some do like it hot, <laughs> mm -hmm, you got a good week ahead. That's right. Yeah, plenty of heat coming up for us this week. Uh, today will likely stay a little shy of 90, but over upcoming days, I think that 90-degree uh, mark is within reach. But today, we're starting off right now with temperatures mainly in the 60s across the area. A little bit of fog for a few places, especially to the south, but 82 by noon. Highs today in the mid to upper 80s, but like I mentioned, a little bit more heat for upcoming days. We'll check that full forecast in a moment. If you're just getting ready to head in this morning, once you hit the road, you're really not going to see any delays. Right now, 390, 490, 590, and 104 are all working well. You're good to go. And that's it for now. With your time saver traffic, I'm Mike Bowen. It's a game changer. It may, yeah. be, it may be led here by the military, but it's going into your cell phone. It's going into your car. It's going into medical devices. It's a game changer across the board. A game changer that will bring Vice President Biden to Rochester to announce the multi-million dollar Photonics Institute. Yet the project could be a boom for Rochester's economy. Jim Madalinski is live in Greece to explain how, Jim. Well, Hannah, Doug, sources tell 13 Wham that this site, Canal Ponds Business Park, will be the home for photonics research and development for really the entire country. Rochester won the $110 million in funding from the Department of Defense. Congresswoman Louise Slaughter says the state helped secure the award by pledging $250 million toward the project. Massachusetts and California have also pledged state funds, and leaders say there is the possibility for other photonic sites in the country. The headquarters of photonics research and development for the country is expected to be here because of the wealth of trained engineers and scientists the Rochester area has to offer. Slaughter says it's an economic game changer for a city that used to be home to the big three of Kodak, Xerox, and Bosch and Law. The institute is expected to bring roughly 6,000 high-paying jobs in just a few years and the potential for more economic growth down the road. We will be able to have a workforce. We will be able to grow. We'll do away with that poverty designation. This is generational change. This will be here for a long, long time. To for Western New York to get this de designation is just like feeding and watering. it. It's going to grow here. Vice President Joe Biden and Governor Andrew Cuomo both expected to be here at 11 o'clock. We will be streaming this entire announcement live on 13wham.com. And, of course, we will have special reports and team coverage on 13 Wham News at midday 5 and 6. For now, we are live in Greece. Jim Madalinski for Good Day Rochester. All right, thanks, Jim. We'll have extended coverage of the announcement. We'll continue right through 9 o'clock this morning on Fox Rochester, speaking with business experts, Congresswoman Slaughter, Congressman Tom Reed about the deal. And Hannah's going to be heading out to the airport in a few minutes to await the vice president's arrival. Two people remain in jail on murder charges in the death of a Greece man found dead at a Motel 6 in Gates last week. Donovan Zolke and Jessica Sobel are accused of killing and robbing 39-year-old Jehan Gervala last Thursday. Police say Zolke stabbed Gervala in the chest, then say the pair made off with his wallet. Investigators say the two only knew each other for 10 days, and the motive for the crime remains unclear. New this morning, a man from Marion is facing assault charges after a fight with several family members. Wayne County Sheriff's deputies say 27-year-old Stephen Lang III hit one family member in the head with an empty liquor bottle during an argument, then bit another person. Lang is also accused of kicking out the window of a police car. He faces assault and criminal mischief charges. 
New information this morning about the gunman who opened fire in a Louisiana theater last week, killing two and injuring nine before shooting himself. Investigators say they found a journal in John Hauser's hotel room that included the time and date of the movie where the shooting took place. But police still do not have a motive for the crime. Now Governor Bobby Jindal is calling for stricter gun control measures in Louisiana, adding that Hauser never should have gotten a gun. New details this morning about a record fine against Fiat Chrysler over safety concerns. The company agreeing to pay $105 million for failing to fully report defects and for poor recall practices. As part of the deal, Fiat Chrysler will also buy back some vehicles, including 500,000 Ram GM uh, Ram pickup trucks, not GM, Ram pickup trucks, plus offer incentives for owners or pay to have those defects repaired. Today, New York State's Wage Board is expected to finalize a report endorsing a $15 minimum wage for fast food workers. The three-member board will meet in Albany before opening a public comment period on the plan. Their proposal would increase the minimum wage for fast food workers in restaurants with 30 or more locations over three years. Franchise owners argue the hike is unfair because it targets one industry only. The wage hike must be approved by the state labor commissioner. Also today, volunteers will help transform a portion of the Nature Conservancy's thousand-acre swamp into a mega garden, planting nearly a thousand plants that will attract butterflies. The partnership between the Nature Conservancy and the Seneca Park Zoo aims to rebuild the monarch butterfly population here in New York. All right, time to answer our question today. Yes. Hannah Welker is prepared to give you the answer. Don't show it in the prompter, please. Hold off. Who are the oh, five? Me. Yes. Who are the five <laughs> living? former vice presidents. Well, I saw some of the answers. I have no idea. Well, Joe Biden doesn't count because he is he's the current vice president, but it would be going back all the way. Walter Mondale, who was Jimmy Carter's vice president. Okay. And you had um, George H.W. Bush, who went on to become president, right. but he was Ronald Reagan's vice president. Okay. Dan Quayle, of course, was the vice president uh, under George H.W. Yep. Bush. Al Gore oh, Al under Bill Clinton. Dick, duh, I knew those ones. And then Dick Cheney. I okay. know it's one of those ones you think about who. Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna, but Dick Cheney, duh. Five yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Well, there you go. Hope you're smarter this morning now that you told me. You know what? That's what the question of the day is all about raising the level of all the boats in our community. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> here's what's coming up on Good Day Rochester as we continue through 9 o'clock at 7 40. A fast food meal makeover in this week's Health in a Handbasket with Beth Smith from the American Diabetes Association. At 7.50, our coverage continues with a major photonics announcement expected today. We'll be speaking with local business expert Mark Peterson about what this move means for other businesses. Representative Tom Reed will join us at 8.15 to talk about the announcement, and we'll hear from Congresswoman Slaughter at 8.30 before she heads to Canal Ponds Park in Greece for the announcement. And next, history being made in the Boy Scouts today, the longtime ban that the organization is expected to bring to an end today. Three four zero two thousand, or visit heritagechristianhomecare.org. Final days for the July Spectacular Summer Bonus Tag Savings. Lease the new 2015 Chevy Trax LT for only $89 a month. Or lease a brand new 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500 Double Cab LS for only $179 a month. Come in today to Victor Chevrolet and find out why we're the fastest growing Chevrolet dealer on the East Coast. At Chatham Gardens, you'll find more than an apartment. You'll find a home. A place to grow. A place to call your own. Spacious, secure, affordable, with all of the comforts of home. Convenient location near supermarkets, schools, hospitals, expressways, and bus routes. Call 546-8713 for details. Enjoy some great times together. Take a break, relax, and have fun. It's a breeze. Come get your summer and see breeze. Get discount coupons at Dunkin' Donuts. 
Take advantage of 0% financing for 60 months on six of the hottest models at Toyota Scion of Batavia. 0% on the new 2015 Corolla, Camry, Prius, Avalon, Venza, and the RAV4. Plus, you'll find low APR deals on every vehicle from cars, trucks, SUVs, and hybrids. Right now, get two free Darien Lake season passes or a free tablet device with any new or pre-owned vehicle purchase. Drive a little, save a lot! Soil is the foundation for healthy plants, just like gums are the foundation for healthy teeth. New Colgate Total Mouthwash for gum health. It kills germs and forms a protective shield for 45% stronger gums. For stronger, healthier gums, Colgate Total Mouthwash. Whether you're purchasing a new home, or refinancing your mortgage. It's a significant financial decision. When making these choices, would you prefer to work with a computer or a person? Recently, I had a customer call her bank and ask to meet with someone to get pre-qualified. The bank's response was, we no longer meet with people in person. You have to apply online. With Nothnagel Home Securities, we are here to help you. Give us a call and set up an appointment today. At Nothnagel Home Securities, our values are also your values. Final days for the July Spectacular Summer Bonus Tag Savings. Lease the new 2015 Chevy Cruze LT for only $109 a month. Or lease a brand new 2015 Chevy Malibu LS for only $79 a month. Come in today to Victor Chevrolet and find out why we're the fastest growing Chevrolet dealer on the East Coast. Time saver traffic brought to you by Delta Sonic. Save up to 15 cents per gallon with the card. Today we're starting off with some sun beginning to work in. We're going to keep that around for much of the day today. So a beautiful day is coming up for us with sunshine winning out and it uh, looks like temperatures will move along pretty well also. We're mostly starting off in the 60s right now. A little bit of fog has set up, especially for some valleys to the south, but that's going to lift and burn off pretty well throughout the early part of the day. We'll see temperatures rise up uh, very nicely, up to 82 by noon, and then back into the mid-80s to upper 80s for highs during the afternoon. So overall, very warm day for us. Average highs about 81 this time of year. We're going to be well beyond that. Even by noon, I think we'll be close to that average high, and then we'll just continue to add to that number going through the remainder of the afternoon. Now, what's left of any rain, that uh, still is right on the east coast, pretty much right uh, through a lot of the uh, coastal cities right now. So again, that's holding well away from us. A little bit of cloud cover extending inland, but uh, still that is keeping a good distance from us as well. So overall, it looks like a beautiful day is coming up for us. We get to keep some sunshine around. The few places that are starting off with at least some fog should see that lift and uh, burn off pretty well throughout the uh, early part of the morning. We're mainly coming in in the 60s right now. A few places did start off as low as 59, but that was about it. Those areas have uh, mostly come up out of the 50s. Uh, so most areas are somewhere in the 60s, as low as 60 right now in Penfield. But on the upper end, you see Webster coming in at 65. Same in Williamson, Greece at the same number as well. Even Penn Yan, uh, they start off with a little bit more fog, and they're holding at 66 currently. But today is going to feature a lot of sunshine. Beautiful day coming up for us. We can see that sunshine working in a little bit of haze out there, and that's in response to that uh, relative humidity being quite high, just shy of 100% at 93% uh, right now. 64 for that latest air temperature, and again, we'll cross over into the 70s, then 80s for highs as we get into the afternoon. Overall, expect a lot of sunshine today. Beautiful day for us. Any rain holds well away from us today. You can see a couple little showers, a couple thunderstorms up uh, through the Adirondacks and North Country still away from us. Some of that sinks down towards Albany. But uh, for us today, throughout western New York, beautiful day, plenty of sun. Just a very nice afternoon. A little cooler lakeside. So if you don't like those temperatures well into the 80s as they'll be for many places inland, along the lakeshore temperatures will run a little bit cooler. Uh, wind is going to be fairly light today and that's going to allow a little bit of a lake breeze to set up uh, for some lakeshore communities. Heading into tonight, mainly clear skies. Very quiet overnight. We'll be in the mid 60s for lows and then for tomorrow right back into some sun. Another very summer-like day. Likely a little bit higher for temperatures tomorrow. May take another little step upwards heading into Wednesday as well. So today, at least well into the 80s, could approach 90 for the next couple days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Could see a couple showers overnight Wednesday night. A little front uh, passes through. Not much rain associated with that, but still a chance is there from then into early Thursday. And then Thursday and Friday, mainly in the 80s, 83 and 84. And then still holding in the 80s with just a chance of a couple thunderstorms into the upcoming weekend. But overall, very summer-like straight through the week. Good stuff. Thank you, Marty. Quite Sounds welcome. good. Yeah, I'm ready for the sauna. <laughs> Right now, President Obama is meeting with leaders in Ethiopia as part of a two-country African tour. He is the first president to visit Ethiopia, and he is expected while there to address human rights issues, regional security, and the civil war in South Sudan. On Saturday, the president visited Kenya. That is the birthplace of his late father.
Despite controversy surrounding presidential candidate Donald Trump, his support among voters is holding firm. He stands at the top of the newly released CNN ORC poll with 18 percent support in one of the first polls since Trump's remarks about John McCain's war service and comes about a week before the first Republican debate. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush is in second with 14 percent and all the other Republican candidates got less than 10 percent voter support. Big changes could be coming to the Boy Scouts today. The organization is expected to end its ban on allowing openly gay leaders in its ranks. The new policy will also reportedly allow religious chartered scout groups to select their troop leaders based on their own moral beliefs. Two years ago, the organization voted to allow gay youths to be members of the Boy Scouts. The executive board has to approve this new change. A push to make sure that drunk drivers who choose to get behind the wheel don't get very far. A newly introduced bill would increase funding for high-tech sensors that can disable a car's ignition if the driver is under the influence. The technology works by detecting alcohol in breath or even the touch of the skin. Senator Chuck Schumer is sponsoring the bill in Congress, saying they are more efficient than the existing ignition interlocks. The Snowy Kingdom from Disney's Frozen has a new princess. Six-year-old Avery Huffman was diagnosed with an inoperable brain cancer last month and has had more than a dozen rounds of chemo. Kristen Bell, the voice behind Frozen's Anna, heard the story and surprised Avery with a special message. My sister Elsa says she's heard that you've been such a good girl and that you've been so brave. She has decided to crown you as an honorary princess of Arendelle. So adorable. The video has gone viral with more than a million views. Are you looking for a rich treat? Well, today, what was it? Saturday was Hot Fudge Sunday yeah. Day. Today's National Creme Brulee Day. Yikes. The dessert consists of a caramelized layer of sugar over a custard base, and boy, do I know that. The topping is made by using a torch or a heating device to melt the sugar. Then that hardens as it cools. Do you like creme brulee? Oh, I love it. Oh, I don't like it. No? Mm -mm. I, I don't like, like the texture. It all kinds of creme. So you don't like pudding either? I do like pudding. Well, but creme, creme brulee. brulee. Creme brulee. Is it creme brulee or is it tiramisu that's kind of like... Tiramisu is almost Blonde. like a cake that's all soaked. No, that would be creme brulee. Okay, that's what you're then I don't like creme brulee. We'll continue discussing desserts of the world <laughs> coming up later on. Yes, but in entertainment news coming up next, Bobby Christina Brown has died. How she's being remembered and the new details about that investigation into her death. Who's headed this fall to Fox? The Grinder. The Grinder. The Grinder. Who's moving back home after starring on a hit TV show? The Grinder. 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 And whose little brother is tired of the grind? He, he thinks he's the Grinder. I'm the Grinder. Yeah. I grind hard. Okay. All right. It's just the brother. Yes, it's just the brother. Rob Lowe and Fred Savage. Are you Grinder? I was, once upon a time. The Grinder. What are you looking at? What's up there? Tuesdays this fall on Fox. It's easy and fun to find your next car at Eid Honda. Watch Good Day Rochester each weekday between 7 and 8 a.m. on Fox Rochester for your cruise in the summer keyword. Enter that keyword on the 13 Wham Facebook page for your chance to win a two-year lease on a 2015 Chevy Cruze from Bob Johnson Chevrolet. Welcome to the Summit Federal Credit Union. With retirement and investment services to help you plan well and invest wisely, and advisors who understand investments as much as they understand you. So you can go where you want to go and do what you want to do. Because retirement isn't an end, it's a new beginning. Retirement and investment services from the summit. The know-how you need to really go places. Mesothelioma is a cancer that is caused by exposure to asbestos. Many hardworking tradesmen have been exposed to harmful asbestos fibers. Even secondhand exposure to asbestos may put family members at risk. So if you or a loved one has mesothelioma, you may be entitled to a tax-free settlement. Call us now. Savino and Barnes, injury attorneys, call 888 Don't wait. Call 8. 
SRT Training Academy, the essential training for security professionals. Earn state certification and sharpen your firearm skills at our own outdoor range. Train, qualify, work. Visit SRTAcademyNY.com for courses information. Tender Loving Family Care, the extra help families need to stay independent. Bobby Christina Brown has died. The daughter of the late Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown died last night, about six months after being found unresponsive in her bathtub. Since then, she'd been in hospice care in a medically induced coma. TMZ now reports that police in Georgia plan to treat Brown's death as a murder case and that her boyfriend, Nick Gordon, is a person of interest. No word yet on any funeral plans. Bobby Christina was just 22 years old. 35 women are taken to the cover of New York Magazine in an article about sexual assault allegations against Bill Cosby. Many of the allegations go back decades. Some of the women claim the comedian drugged them before sexually assaulting them. Cosby has denied all allegations and he has not been charged. The first episode of I Am Kate debuted last night. The show follows Bruce Jenner's transition to Caitlyn Jenner. The episode focused on how Jenner told his daughters and his mom that he was transgender. Their responses were overwhelmingly positive. There are seven more episodes in the miniseries on the E! Network. A local dancer continues on tonight on So You Think You Can Dance. Jim Nowakowski graduated from Webster Thomas High School in 2007, and now he dances for the Houston Ballet. But he got to start with the Rochester City Ballet back in 2002. So You Think You Can Dance starts at 8 tonight right here on Fox Rochester. And in theaters, Ant-Man managed to stay on top of the pile this week. The Marvel blockbuster made more than $24 million in week two. Adam Sandler's comedy Pixels premiered in second place. Minions came in third at the box office. It is time for today's keyword to win a two-year lease on a new Chevy Cruze from Bob Johnson Chevrolet. The word is family. Go to the contest tab on the 13 Wham Facebook page, enter the keyword each day before midnight, and watch for a bonus keyword on Bob Johnson Chevrolet's Facebook page. Ooh, whether your morning commute and local headlines are coming up next.